Oh, you're all young and hot, and I like it. Um, so you're grabbing her ankle. How sexy. No, you guys should bang for sure. Uh, you both look so good. I'm so happy to be here. Last time I was in Montreal, I saw the same man finger his own butthole twice in public. And so we'll see what happens this trip. But uh, hopefully, yeah, two positions. Pretty wild. Uh, one time outside on all fours, and then inside where I was getting late night poutine, legs over the head. I don't know if he was targeting me, but I watched it. And uh, it was weird. No one, because no one wanted to stop him because no one wanted to touch him. Whatever. I'm just so happy to be here. I'm happy it's summer. It's my favorite time of year. It's just like picnics, parties, barbecues, roofs, it's festivals. It's my favorite. But it's also like this yearly reminder that when it's warm out and my thighs touch, they bleed. And... Um, <laughs> That sucks. Uh, yeah, like I'll, like I'll come to your party, but my thighs are scabbing and I'll sweat right here. Um, and if your party is really good, I'll sweat here too. So we'll see. Are you crossing your arms? Don't do that. Touch her pregnant belly like in the magazines. Yeah, like that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you guys look great. Uh, congratulations. Um, where was I? Oh, my thigh is touching. Yeah, no, I... <laughs> I need to get skinny, for sure. I mean, not enough to do anything about it, but enough to chat about it, you know? I'd like to let you know, but I have to, I know, I have to get skinny, because, like, my personality is not getting better, and that's it. And I also finally hit my low in life. I woke up recently, and my vibrator was covered in pizza crumbs, and it's like, <laughs> that's a low. But now I just call it Papa John, and it's fine. <laughs> So, I'm an optimist. Um, yeah, no, I need to get thin because what I've learned about life is the more people that want to fuck you, the worse of a person you can be. And that's where I need to get to. Like, that's all I want. That, it is a dream. Like, the, especially for women, the hotter you are, the better your life. It's amazing. Like, you could do anything. If you're a really hot girl, you could be sitting on a date, slitting your wrists, and a guy would be like, oh, she's just passionate. Yeah, she's just so passionate. She's just funny and zesty, you know? Uh, we're just too nice to hot people. I excuse hot people's behavior constantly. Like, I have one friend, Stacy. I'm like, yeah, she's racist, but her thighs don't touch. She's good for the group. Bring her, you know? <laughs> Bring her. She'll get us what we need. It's, I mean, it's magic. It's, everyone's always shocked when a hot girl gets cheated on. Whenever a celebrity or someone really hot gets cheated on, it's always like, oh my God, why would he fuck the nanny? Why would he fuck the worker? Why would he cheat on her? She's beautiful. And basically, it's because really hot people and the way they're treated, we create women that are like golden retrievers that are service dogs that do no service. <laughs> That's basically what hot girls are. They're golden retrievers, they look great, they smile a lot, you can't touch them, and if they do just a little bit of a trick, you're so impressed, you know? <laughs> That's what it is. And so, even though you love your golden retriever and it's so fun, you're gonna wanna fuck a corgi eventually, you know? Like, <laughs> you're just gonna wanna fuck it. Like, yeah, it's short and chubby, but just as cute and it has more hobbies, and... <laughs> That's what happens, and that's why hot girls get cheated on. But also, the way like we treat hot girls and the way that men get away with looking like shit and fucking people they don't deserve is where all gender problems come from. It, that's it. That all gender divide and like gender inequality comes from that men can look gross and get fucked. And that's it. All you have to do is learn a skill. Just learn a skill. No matter what it is, even if it's bowling, there are bitches who want to fuck bowlers, okay? <laughs> That's what it means to be a man. Like, you could just be good at something. I'm sure as a young child, Quentin Tarantino was like, oh, fuck, I look like the devil. <laughs> and then he made movies, you know? I'm sure LeBron James was like, oh, no, I'm 14 and I look 45. I'm going to go to practice. I'm going to go to practice and I'm going to get good at it because you're rewarded for the things you do and accomplish, and that's why you have more value in society because people look at what you do and they don't look at women at what they do. They just want to fuck hot girls, and that's why you guys are confident and you don't just... I mean, there are men right now that are shaving half of their head, leaving hair right here with a bun and living. Okay, just living. What? What? I used to see someone that looked like that and I'd be like, you know what? Good for you for escaping that cult. That must have been so hard. 
It must have been so hard. You're so brave. Now it's just like Derek from HR felt confident. <laughs> like, it sucks. It sucks. And men wouldn't do anything that got them fucked less, which means people are having sex with these guys. Like, these spoiled fruit samurai are running around town. <laughs> and people are having sex with them. That is what it is to be a guy. Just, oh, are you so like rich? I love it. You're so successful, powerful. You know, like bad boy, skater guy. Smart professor, so distinguished. Oh, so artsy. Oh, he's so sensitive. He'd be a great father. I've had sex with my friend's dad. It sucked. Um, <laughs> it was the worst. Um, it was the worst, but yeah. But if you're a man and no one's having sex with you, you know you're worthless and that must suck. But it means you're not smart or funny. You don't have a good personality. You're not nice to your mom. You don't have, I mean, but don't worry. I have advice for you. Just fake an accent or put on a uniform. You'll trick someone. It's great. It's so good. Are you Irish and deliver the mail? Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just love it. I love accents where you could tell there's gonna be foreskin. You know, they're just my favorite accents. All right, thanks so much, you guys. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now, I'm waiting. <laughs>